What's up, guys? We are back with more SPL. John Yu, who is this? Well, I owe you, however you pronounce this guy. Um, this is pretty interesting. You brought some talks of packs balance ish. Uh, Psychic Spam Metagross and a Tap Lily. I saw we have Toxapex and Mega Metagross on both sides. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. I like the, the Tornadoes a lot. It's honestly, um, if it's AV, it's a good check to. It's a good check to Feromosa. Because it takes Ice Beams with Assault Vest and. Hmm. Damn, I just wanted to brush my teeth and this game popped up. <clears throat> Might have to pause it and clean my mouth. One second, one second. Good God, what did I say this in my recording? Let me pause real quick. Okay, okay, we back, we back. Um, the crocodile is cool. I like the crocodile. If you weaken is the Lolando, so let me see what could be the Z-move mode on the other side. Um, Z-move, Landris, or Heatran, or Fermosa, options, options. Also, I think it's, um, um, I think it's Scar Fermosa, I don't think it's, um, I don't think it's Z-move Fermosa. But I don't know anything about well I owe you. Or well you, man. I don't know how to pronounce this guy. Tornado's lead versus Tangos. They might exchange. If he's AV Torn, he might even tank. He might even stay in. But if he's. Um, I don't know. Like, I said, AV Torn checks Faramosa, but he has a Toxic Pack, so he doesn't have to be AV. For that reason, but it has other reasons. There's other reasons to run that set. Um, okay, he goes for U turn. He's not life up, okay. So he didn't want to uh, have the Tangro stay in and knock off his lefty, is what I assume. So if he U turned and the Tangro stayed in, I think he would have gone out to Toxapex, anything like that. Toxapex, or. Yeah, I think that was his only play. And this is really nice to get the Lele in on the, on the packs. If he can get this correct between predicting the Heatran and predicting the Malgros. I mean if he specs he just clicks the psychic move I think. But if he has focus blast, actually focus blast is really good here if it hits. Um It's either Z I think it's um Z move Lele and Scarf Crook. Um but he could also be he could also be Okay, that's not specs. Okay, that looks to be Twisted Spoon, but it could also be Z-Move. Oh, I think that's Assault Vest Tangrove. I don't think it makes defense, but that did it a lot. Kind of. I mean, it's a Tapu Lily, of course it did damage, but... Like, Tangrove has a lot of defenses, which is why I said it did a lot. Mm. Yes, I, still, I said the other thing. Everyone knows Tango has a lot has a lot of defense. John always brings like interesting heat kind of heat ish teams. Crocodile is um, a potential pursuit trapper if you predict your opponent to bring a Hooper. So he made the Metagross play was watch with which was overall the, the best midground play because it takes potential. Mm. Actually, HP Fire was a play there, but now nah, HP Fire wouldn't have done much, and you don't want to lose your item on Lele. So he's probably not Z move Lele then. Going packs there on a potential um, Sludge Bomb, which also some AV tanks run. But um, well, I owe you or well, you he has multiple checks to to. Um, Tapu Bulu, so I don't think he has Sludge Bomb on his Tangrove. So Hippo got in on the, it's, it's, it's John's meta check, and he just risks getting burned here. I don't know if that, that's the right play, because I mean, it, he gets rewarded, yeah. 
but doesn't he need this healthy for the Minogros? Like, he kinda has to slack off now because he needs this healthy, but if he. If he gets burned, then it's just bad because. Tapolin is. Yeah, Tapolin is a potential heal belly, heal belly user, but I don't think it will be heal belly on this team. Hmm. I cannot predict John's team that well because <laughs> he uses like on stuff that is not that common. I mean, he has a few common ones. Powder is doing nothing to Toxapex anyway, even if it's more Spadef Toxapex, which I don't know yet. Which we don't know yet. So he makes the Pex play there. I mean, if the if the Metagross doesn't run Zen Headbutt, John also has Toxic Pex for Metagross because T Punch only does like 40 or 50, I think. I don't think T Punch necessarily to it kills, especially if it's Fist Death Pex. If I got the Kalk, it might to it kill. If it's more mixed defensive, it to it kills for sure. So we'll exchange T Spikes. Um, John can just go either go for Scald Fishes, Scald Burns. This battle is gonna take a while. Or you can go in the Torn. Tornadoes and knock off the some items. I mean technically will I owe you or will he could also be Rocks Landers. I mean I mean he could be that was wrong. I didn't mean to say that. He could be um, Scarf Landers if he's not Scarf Ferramosa and he could be Rox Tren and Zemo Ferramosa. But yeah, you can also be Rox um, Zemo Tren, obviously. Um, I don't know if I. Mm. Yeah, I guess value. Value is pressure more. Like, he would have gotten Skullburns eventually. Like, I mean, he could have exchanged Skullburns. I mean, he gets rid of the Black Sludge on Toxapex, which is kind of the same as getting a Burn on Toxapex, because Burn does the same amount that Black Sludge heals. But getting this Tangle of Poison is uh, nice for John. Since that's like one of the, the Crocodile checks. He just switches back to get rid of the T-Spike, and John gets the Burn, so this is looking nice for him. So I assume Volume will just yeah fish for skull burns. Exciting, exciting. I thought we would see this less in Sun and Moon because Skull got nerfed. I mean we see it less on months like Keldeo. On months like Fini you don't see Skull that often, even though I still like it. And why is Toxapex broken? Okay, love the chat. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure we'll see a knockoff from the storm here. Knock off U-turn. U-turn is fine too, cause you get the the packs back in to get regen, and uh, not to get regen, to get the T spike off. Um, I mean obviously he gets regen too. This might take a sweet year. Kick. I mean hippo. I saw Benga use Hippo on the ladder, I actually lost it. He had a really cool sand team with Lycan Rock. Um, I myself, I don't like Hippo that much, but I haven't used it, so I cannot shit talk it. Um, it just feels a bit too passive. But Helmet is like a nice way to chip away at Metagross. So he gets the Lele in and gets burned, which is huge. This is like his main main way of breaking the Toxic Packs. So I don't know if it was smart to go hard into packs, uh, into Lele. Cause like you could have just gone into, you could have switched between like Torn and Pex, which are both have regenerate and don't care too too much about getting burned. Yes, Torn getting burned is also annoying, but this getting burned is more annoying in my opinion. These two just have regenerator, and they don't really care about a burn since they don't really use physical moves. Torn only uses some physical moves for utility, like knockoff and U-turn. 
in ours we saw Aaron tell you sometimes to catch Diancies. Don't think it has any usage at the moment. And Sun Moon. Yeah, I mean, yesterday was too funny. I recorded the SPL Ubers game that I, th which I thought it would be for SPL and was not for SPL. It was so funny, man. I had to laugh at myself. I might upload that and like troll myself with some. No. I know. I'm not that good at making troll videos. So he predicts him to switch into Meta or Heatran, which is a nice play. And if he has pursued and gets this play right, this is nice for John. I honestly think this is Scarf Crook, cause I think it's Scarf. It's Intimidate, so maybe it's not. Well, that's weird. Usually, you see a Moxie on, on Scarf Crook. He could be banded, um, but I, just, he's, I think his team is way too slow. I think he needs a Scarfer. Like, Crook is not the fastest Scarfer out there, but at least something. His fastest Mon otherwise is Torn. And I don't think he has Bullet Punch on Metagross since he has Psychic Terrain, which would not go well with Bullet Punch. But yeah, he has a fat core to rely on. He doesn't necessarily have to have a Scarfer, but I still think it's a good idea to run one. So I think he just went for knockoff or earthquake. I mean, even earthquake doesn't kill. Yeah, knockoff. So it is off plate Landris, which is a really cool set to beat stuff like like Fat Mons. It's really good versus Stall, honestly. Like with Sableye and that type of fat team. Like I don't really know if it's good versus John. I mean, it's good to break the hippo in this case if he had the off plate to do good damage to hippo. So it's offensive rocks Landris, which kind of makes me think that it's Scarf Hermosa and Z move trend, which is what I said. I said in the beginning it's Scarf Hermosa, but then I wasn't sure. Did some speculations. So this could be HBI's torn, which but that was more common when we had Landris um, incarnate around. It could just hurricane, but this could run. This could run Gravity or Smackdown, this, turn, this lander. Could also run Stone Edge, but I don't think it will. I mean, Pax is a fine switch in any way. Dodges or Hurricane, I don't think it would have done too, too much. I mean, that's Hurricane at 70% accurate. Misses two in a row, which is annoying. He could have at least like been able to see if it's the death or if it's death Toxic Pax from the damage. Um, I think he will just U-turn here. I guess he can spam Hurricane. Not that it breaks the toxic pack, so that does that actually does a good chunk. So I feel like that's more of a fist of toxic packs as of course he gets the burn there, which was about to happen. So no point in crying. I mean this doesn't have this doesn't have um black sludge, so I guess he's gaining some he's like wasting some recovers, but Hurricane only has thirteen left. Oh he only has twelve left. My bad. I mean he wasted two recovers, which is something Goes for Heatwave there to not waste the Hurricane PP, which is a nice tactical play in a potential PP war later on as he U turns out to get regenerated, brings in his own packs as on. I thought it was the T spec that would come out there, but it's another Skull that comes out. And I think we can just expect John to go for T spikes here. Oh, back in the turn, back in the turn, okay. And he can just U-turn, he can just U-turn here, I don't think this has Baneful Bunker. You only see Baneful Bunker on the ladder, I'm, that, that move makes me go crazy, because it's so bad. <laughs> Toxapex was Toxapex hype, keck. I mean, I see what John is doing here. Just pivoting between his regenerator core. Um, Rocks up makes it a bit annoying, but Tornadoes just heals most of the damage it takes anyway. Yeah, Toxapex and Amoongus are just those mons. Like in this game, it's obviously only Toxapex. That, that you cannot poison them, they are fat mons and they are just annoying. They are there forever if you don't have a good breaker. 
<laughs> I hate this mod so much. I mean, I honestly hate facing it a lot. It's nice to slap on a team sometimes if you're weak to certain mods. But yeah, I also like that John has a ground type like Hippo in the back that is not for them to speak to HPIs to play some. Like most type of Coco don't run grass not these days. So a Hippo in the back is always nice to block vault switches and T bolts that would hit the Tox base hard. So this is just like they both have T spikes but they won't really get T spikes up because Toxapex gets rid of them anyway. Yeah, this might just take 50. This might just take 100 turns. Like the entire game and the turn 100 or something. Yeah, Mega Mobile is coming on Tuesday, I think, so stay tuned for that. The T Punch set will blow the Toxic Packs in the wind. And every fat mon that comes in its way, most fat mons. I'm sure there's like some counter to Mobile. Depending on the set that runs Heatran was it if it doesn't run. The focus punch. Actually, T punch probably does a decent chunk to Heatran, so I wouldn't say it was it. It just checks it for like one or it generally switch in one or two times, I think. Mm hmm. You can see T punch doing like 40 to Heatran or high 30s. From Adamant Mobile, that is. Like, they both have fat region cores. Pivot course, I mean, Torn is more. Torn is some. Not offensive pressure, but it has the speed going for it, which doesn't do much in this game. With the Toxic Base and the. Yeah. I mean, with the Heat Trend, it could knock off. But yeah, I'm, think I'm thinking of Zemo Trend. So he gets a crit there, which um, makes the game progress and not him not getting burned like that uh, that actually made some progress there that saved us like five turns <laughs> so the game will not be super super long Pursuity would be um Pursuity would be a hard play if he has it he doesn't have good switch into this his land is low and his land is offensive if he has hammer arm he could go for that because Heatran is like the only switch in besides Tang. Tang is also not a switch in, dude. <laughs> After Rocks and Poison? Nah, Tang is not a switch in. His own Metagross is maybe the only switch in if this one doesn't have ham Hammer Arm slash Earthquake. And this has Earthquake, he can beat this. But other than that, I don't see what you switch in here between Met either Metagross or Heatran. Um, or you sack something. So, we would see if he has. Okay, just goes Mash. I don't think Scarf Trend is a set in Sun and Moon, but you see it sometimes. So it would still be wise by John to Scarf for that. Um, <laughs> the last game I recorded was more interesting, honestly. The the, th the Thorn game that was amazing, dude. <laughs> like their timers were going so long, but the game was like decently fast compared to this one. And was interesting. Like Bandit Zyga just killed everything. Well, not everything, but it put in work. Almost everything. <sighs> so you decided to bring out a Torn, and we see it's probably not Zemo of Trend, because Zemo of Trend runs Magma Storm to um, trap waters like Tapu Fini and then kill him next turn with um, Z Solar Beam or Bloom Doom. Is what we call it. Yeah, it could be Scarf. Lefty uses that set a lot. That's correct. He runs it, like he used it in RS. I don't know if he used it in Sunman yet. I mean, you just you turn here if you John. And will you or will I owe you? I still don't know how to pronounce him. Somebody tell me in the comments how to pronounce this guy, please. <laughs> Someone with knowledge. Alameo, why do Illumin players talking to me? 
Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Uh, isn't it supposed to be? To mean talk to me? The, the sentence not talking. Yeah, he just loves him again. So he's scarf trend with lava plume and sun and moon, which is interesting. <laughs> Lefties, this man stole your set cake. I mean, he can pursue this. He can pursue this here. Knockoff is also fine play. GTM said it kind of had to be scarf to be age. I mean, I thought it would be Scarf Hermosa. Like, that was a higher chance in my opinion. So, I think it's Zemo Hermosa. Or he doesn't have a Zemo user, but it would make sense to be the, the Dollar Pummeling set, probably Crodan's one. That runs uh, Crodan's Ice Beam, Vogbus, Focus Blast, which um, the first time you use the Zemo, you don't have to risk Focus Blast missing, and you get a beast boost most of the time. Unless there's like a Toxapex on the opposing side that walls your ass. It could also be the Breakneck Blitz set to weaken Toxapex. Or beat Toxapex if it took a bit prior damage. So, um, he can just knock off again here. The Landris gets to it KO'd. Like, he still doesn't have good switches. He could go into his Toxapex, yeah. Oh, he went hard for Hermosa because he's Z move and he doesn't take that much. That was a potential play, yeah. Oh, I Toxapex was super low, my bad. Toxapex was at like 40, after Roxy was like 30-ish. So it gets a rapid spin-off. So he could still be Scarf then. Or he could also be Zemo Physical with HJK. Or he could still be Special and just have rapid spin. This doesn't mean anything. But it kind of makes me think that he's not Quiver Dance. It's GTM set, no item for Hermosa. Uh, what? Is, are you trolling, dude? It's obviously Z move. Spin Z move for the win. Yeah, I don't know. Did I say it could. It reveals that it's not Z move? Because at Team Preview, we saw that. We saw it had an item, I think. That gets shown at Team Preview. And it, if knockoff happens and no item gets lost, it's obviously Z move. But yeah, I didn't pay attention at Team Preview. But I think everything had an item. There's no reason not to run a Z-move if you have the space for it. Like, sometimes I don't find the, the mod to put it on, so I just leave it and don't run a Z-move. So, um, nice pivoting into Pax out to get region, like from Pax into tank. But uh, the Metagross is in, the Metagross is now, this is just a free medium mesh. Like, I don't see what you lose from medium mashing here, besides that you can miss. That's the only thing that you can lose. Um, I need to eat soon. Please finish this game tomorrow, today, <laughs> not tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's it. That's a nice mid-ground play. No boost. So, I assume value... I'm gonna call him value now. I assume he has, like, Pursuit or Earthquake. So he didn't show Pursuit. So obviously Mega Meta. Oh, he has Earthquake, yep. And the bottom comes in there. Ice Match kills. Wow, I thought it was a roll, maybe. So yeah, I don't know why you put a dot, maybe you got max roll. He said I have tons of defense. So that was probably like a max roll. I don't think it was adamant. Um, I don't think it was adamant meta. That's not a set. But maybe he was adamant with agility, but I don't see that. That's like not a, nah, that's not a set. But that's bad for John. I thought Hippo could take one, honestly. But you don't <laughs> sleep or sleep. Meta was a strong. Don't sleep on that one. Of course not. This might get suspect tested. I think Greninja. Greninja, Metagross, Feromosa are potential ones to get suspect tested next. Tapu Lele, maybe, but I don't think so much. And what there was another option. I also think Hooper might get tested later on when all the broken ones have gotten tested. Uh, Hooper might get tested later on when the metagame becomes a bit more slow and bulky teams are more common. I mean, stall is kind of common at the moment, but yeah, 
Some people decided it was a good idea to keep Dougie as... Well, you get the 50-50 right, so he gets a nice ice punch off, but John still traps the meta to it, okay, was it? Yeah, some people decided it was a nice idea to keep Dugshear around, so we have to deal with still deal with Dougie Stall and OU, which is super annoying, because it traps stuff like Hooper. Type of Lily if you don't run Shut Shell. Like, Bandit Hooper is like a mon that just blows through Stall, kind of. But yeah, thanks to shoutouts to Duck to you, it doesn't just run to scroll. I've said that before in another video, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, the Pax versus Pax action is gonna <laughs> continue, kick. But at least we made some progress, and both players got rid of one more. And as the Crocodile is, has one more switch into rocks, it, yeah. John. They both don't have hybrid control. Ah, never mind. Well, you, he just showed rapid spin a few turns ago. Nice double into land on the packs. You can't do far too off quickly, I think. Going hard into Torn is a risky play. It is really risky because... Potential Smackdown, potential... Don't actually whatever rock moves this has, or even HP is a knockoff. Like anything that hits Torn would kill it, I think. It's like super low, yeah, after rock and burn, and like it will take burn after the, at the end of the turn. It doesn't live a hit, that's not earthquake at this point. I think it can afford to earthquake then. Yeah, he makes the Torn play, but I still think he just earthquake, yeah. I mean, if he doesn't have. I mean, yeah, Heatwave kills this, but you were missing, and there's a heat turn in the back, so... John could make a wild prediction here and go for a knockoff on, his, on the Scarf Tran, but I think if you predict him to switch, you go for u turn to get a little bit... You don't really get regenerated, you just get like... He just got like 2% if he gets regenerated because rocks and burn. So, I think he just u turn. Okay, he HPIs, didn't want to risk a miss. Makes some sense. And now we go back to Toxapex versus Toxapex, because that was risky in case he was banned for Bunker. I know it's a bad set and it shouldn't be that, but that still was risky, because the, the U-turn doesn't do any damage, so I think hard switching was the safer play. But yeah, it's obviously um, Haze Toxapex in the last slot, or maybe it's... No, it's not Z-Move, it's Backsludge. <laughs> I was about to say it's Z-Haze or something. It's obviously Black Sludge and the Z-move is under the Pheromos, so like we already saw it didn't get knocked off. So it has a Z-crystal. So yeah, we go back to Toxapex versus Toxapex of Toxapex versus Tangros. They call me the fat Cora in the kitchen. And um, yeah, my stomach says give me food. Um, can we please end this? <laughs> yup. This match is still going on forever, friend. As Tornadus dies. Hmm, that was. Hmm, I don't know if that was the play going to Torn there. Maybe going to hard into Meta was, was the play. I guess he breaks the knockoff. He will go hard Meta Gross on knockoff or off quick. I don't know. He just wanted to have a free switch into Meta Gross. I get it, I get it. Um, Meta Gross is his win con at this point. That's like his only way besides Lele. Now he has Lele and his uh, Crook. He has a few ways to damage the packs. But Maros is his main win con as and it can do a huge hit. It can do huge damage off whenever it comes in on Tangrove or Toxapex, depending on if he can predict correct. I don't think it's smart to go hard into Heatran on a potential Earthquake Hammer Arm. So I think you just have to take Landris here. But I mean, well, you, he has one one more, he has options, so he sacks Pheromosa on the hammer arm, this is exactly why you didn't go hard T-Trin, but it's sad to see the Pheromosa die, it's um, an okay play in a sense that rocks are off, like he, John will never get rocks back up again, his rock is dead, but I wanted to see Zemo Pheromosa in action, but yeah, I kind of agree, I agree with that play now that I think about it, because he gets walled by Toxapex anyway, Probably, even if you see move. And Landris still gets a huge hit off on 
if if he's if it comes in on toxic pex so that's a smart play so the toxic pex comes in on lava plume oh boy oh boy the the show goes on he will just go for recover scold slash recover pretty much recover he can double out john i want to see you double into into metagross please of course he didn't do it because the toxic pex was so obvious there and you want to pressure him with t punch metagross Potential Zen headbutt. So now we back to Skull Spam or T Spike Spam. Amazing. Interesting. <laughs> I mean, well, you. There's no point in getting T Spikes up for John. The only reason it is to click T Spikes is to not waste Skull or Recover BP on that turn. Or, I mean, if he has Haste 2, he has a lot of BP. Because, like, the Tangrel is already poisoned anyway, and the other three months don't care at all about T Spikes. But yeah, this game is at least not endless, but. It took long enough, uh, nice 58 turns. I think, I said it might take 100 turns at the beginning, I think. Mm. I think it will take around mm, 85. Now that, I, now that we are a bit into the game, but we'll see, we'll see. Maybe I wasn't wrong at the beginning, it will actually take 100. I mean, there's just some PP stall here, a bit annoying between the Toxic Pegasus, Regenerator, Tor and Scald. Hmm. <laughs> Why specs a lot? <laughs> he just goes for recover, I assume. Yep, yep, yep. And if you haven't. <clears> These <throat> specs are a bit annoying for John. He could, I could see him going to Metagross here. Yeah, goes Meta. Because, like, he wants to get the packs back and later on to get rid of the T spike so the crook doesn't get poisoned. Because the crook can still come in once. And get two hits off if it doesn't die from poison. Potentially, depending on what it comes in on. As he gets his head but crit and while you just sacked his toxic packs. So nice, we're making progress. Scarf train is out. I could see an earth power here predicting the toxic packs. He has to make plays at this point. Yeah, earth power. Still um, is a roll to tweet kill, but Skull does nothing and. But yeah, off pole again is a fine play. Yeah, you had to make that play there. I'm kind of curious if the deck crit matter. I think I think that crit matter. Yeah. So that sped up the process a bit. Like if he's defensive, toxic packs it mattered for sure. I actually didn't pay attention in like his. It was just annoying and boring PP stall ish. P toxic packs of war, so I didn't pay attention to the toxic packs. What? How much damage it took from s T punch earlier? I think it took a T punch quite decently well, so it's pretty much fist death confirmed. Yeah, yeah, it has to be fist death. It took like 70 from a T punch crit earlier. Let me see. Thunder. Yeah, it crit at 72. So Zen would do like high 80 percentages maybe or. 90 at best, I think 80s, 80% range. Sex of the crook. And now he just comes in with Lele, let's hit, and he can go for Z, Z all out pummeling. Um, I think you just sack the liner here if you will, you, but you don't want to risk the focus blast missing if you join. So I think the Z move is the way to go here. Uh, this should be the Z move mon, unless he doesn't have one. Like, I don't see what else is the Z move mon. They said helmet. They said solvers, I think. They said scarf. Uh, they said black search mega. So yeah, pretty much the the Z move money unless he doesn't have one. Oh, unless I'm missing something and yeah, <laughs> they got another item wrong. But I'm pretty sure that's how it is. So yeah, this will end before. This will end before turn eighty. I'm glad, I'm glad. It's already 34 minutes and 30 seconds in a bit. I mean, Scarfton has a chance to win this, like. So he has to save it, obviously. So he went for Psyshock there. He knew he would. Yeah, that was a good play. He knew he had to save the trend. So now he gets a kill, it's just if well he wants to sack the Tangrus or the, the Lando. Well 
Nano can damage the Toxic Packs, which might be a reason why he's keeping it. Tango's on the other side. It's nice. Take a hit from Metagross potentially. <clears throat> I mean, this Tapu Lily is an off power range soon, so I think while you was just playing it the way you can win with Scarf off power. So I thought it was over, but I actually see Wink on now for value because, like, Toxapex is so weak, Scald will only do like 30% to Heatran or 35 maybe. Something along those lines, maybe maybe my cucks are off. I just noticed the death trend takes like 18 from Scald, but it's offensive trend, so there's more. I think it's like 30 ish. Yeah, I think if you. Um, I think if you value, you, you just sack this and you come on. I mean, you obviously call how much off power does to Tapu Lele. If Lele is not in range to die from off power, you go into to Landris after sack Landris. I think Lele is not in range. It might be a roll after the next burn turn. But yeah, I think if Lele dies to off power, well, you win this. So I don't know. I don't know if I agree with going hard into Heatran, but he probably cocked it. He probably cocked it. Cause if this Layla lives and he just gets all out pummeled, like <laughs> if that's even a word, it's over then. Yeah, this has if little lift, it's over. So it comes down to this. So it's fire. He went for fire blast there. Um. So I think he dies to scald from packs. Now this game is over. If he hit that fire blast, he just won. Like he he's a sectus landers the next turn that is the gross come uh, the, the pex comes out and I think he wins with off power spam then yeah there's a gen seven ubers game Lord Outwitch versus old time Mario I don't know if that's what BL but I'm not gonna record that now. I'm gonna check after the game if it's for SPL. I mean, now no John wins. Probably. He just recovers or Scott's. Yeah, Scott's the better player. Yeah, Scott's the better play Because the, the Heatran was locked into Fire Blast. What am I saying? What am I saying? He had to switch there. So he can switch up moves. Yeah. He made the correct play. But yeah, he he just lost after the Fire Blast hit the Lele. I think to have passed Bam. But yeah, nice to see John pick up a win unless he gets a crit. Um, he can still lose. He can still lose. I spoke too soon. He can still lose. <laughs> um, Scald probably Scald probably doesn't kill, but Scald will put it in potentially in. Okay, someone posted Scald is a roll at the thirty-one to thirty-seven. So he gets the spadef drop. So never mind. John still loses. I spoke too soon. Unless he like. Yeah, he sacks his Metagross here and then he has to get the roll. So this is a roll now. Comes down to the roll, but the roll is in Wellu's favor and honestly Wellu deserves to win this because he all... Actually, maybe maybe there was some hex going on earlier that I forgot, but I think the, the only hex was the Fire Blast dodge. So I think Wellu deserves this game. Um, um, I think the... I guess, I don't know, you cannot really call it Hex, but Metagross Ice Punch got a high roll on John's Hippo, I have to calc that. I didn't calc it, but I assume it was a high roll. John said he has a lot of defense. So that was probably a high roll, or... No, I don't think it was Adam and Metagross. Forget what I said earlier. So... I mean, he can recover spam, but recover spamming doesn't do much, because... 
R4 has 11, Recover has 10 PP, so it's not like he can out PP stall. This being like. This being knocked off and burned is huge for Wall, you know? So he still has a chance to win. The wall, the roll is. If, it, if it's like no bulk trend, the roll is 31 to 37, as someone posted earlier. Yeah, so this has to. Yeah, I don't know why you recover. There was there was no point in recovering, dude. It doesn't matter. This left off doesn't matter. You have to get the roll. It depends if you get the roll. And he gets the roll, so he wins anyways. <laughs> Chat's going wild. GG got the roll, yeah. Yeah, posted again. 31.5 to 37.1. I mean, well, you also got the roll on Hip Powder, I guess, so that's. You cannot say this is hacks the role, but of course, like Pokemon is a, a game of numbers, as my friend Pokemon likes to say. He's not my friend, but I like him. <laughs> Heck, I hope I can record with Pokemon one day. That man is. I love his videos. Um, I hope I can like also get better as a player. I mean, I beat Pokemon once on the ladder, but that doesn't mean much. People told me I had match up afterwards, which. I don't know, I think I think he hacked, like he crit me tr three times, so I don't think you can mention that he had a matchup when he got three crits, but okay. Um, but anyways, let's not talk about that. There was just a random ladder game, it doesn't matter, like in a tournament game, Joey would blow me away, I don't know why I mentioned this. He would fucking roll over me. So the, the, like the most, the only real hex was the Fireburst dodge on the Tapu Lele, which kind of mattered. I think it did. Um, thank you guys for watching. It was too long. 42 minutes. Good God. Um, glad to see. Nice to see John win a game though. And I'm signing out. Peace, friends. Um, I will have a lot of more spiel coming. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for the support. And I'm out.